the land of beauty the land of beauty an incredible contrast the land where their legion bengal tigers rule the land of mowgli where the jungle book was created the pange national park situated on the borders of the state of maharashtra and madhya pradesh in india the pange national park is one of the exotic destinations of wild india we are now on our way to visit this splendid place it is a typical summer season in the central india and this same day city's forest of pange exhibit the same the characteristic fauna of the natural park can be seen as soon as one enters the forest the deers the langurs and the indian goats can be seen in numbers beating the heat these animals can be seen along the roadside or near the water holes built inside the forest and their casual attitude shows that the king of the forest is resting somewhere baras the four year old daughter of the tigress durga is the latest sensation in khosapar the part of the park in maharashtra her presence has alerted some of her prey nearby to beat the heat the tigress lies down under a tree waiting for the temperatures to decline as the time passes by the tourists are now excited to have a good sighting of this young tigress suddenly she is up on her feet and charges towards the water hole a sudden movement alerts the samba deer who is keeping a watch on her predator she slowly advances towards the water hole while glancing all around even the baras is going at the opposite direction the deer is still alert it gives a typical alarm call as well as stamps its foot to alert the other deers the heat forces her to lie down in the water and cool herself the tourists are satisfied as they get a great sighting of the bengal tiger so clearly slowly she puts her head down and rests As we move along, the avian biodiversity of Pange is keen to amaze us. The evening brings us the elusive owls while the morning session exhibits the arboreals. The main predating birds includes the accipiters the buzzards and the eagles
the roosting vultures form the scavenger community. The Indian peafowl, as we all call it as the national bird of India, is seen in a different mood today. The peafowls are displaying the courtship behavior to attract the female. And this competition is a tough one. Alas, someone lost and it is heartbreaking. This season marks the hatching season for many species and the juveniles can be seen throughout the forest. The nesting, feeding and parental care behavior can be seen in various species. Not only the high accordates, but reptiles like the monitor lizard also show the same behavior. Pinch also inhibits a varied mammalian biodiversity and it is a treat to observe. The langus and the macaques are the most entertaining mammals here and you can see why. The 
the summers are scorching and the dryness can be felt around. When we begin on day one, it was all heat and dryness which surrounded us. We needed some breakthrough and well, the nature heard us. That evening, the clouds get all over us and it rained like uh, never before. The forest was transformed from dry to moist in fraction of second. The saturation of nature was amazing. Hello friends, uh, this has been a totally unexpected journey so far and uh, we were not expecting that uh, we will be getting so heavy rains and you can see the atmosphere has suddenly changed and it's become a beautiful one right now. The forest had just transformed drastically. The birds are out singing symphonies while the wet forest is just mesmerizing. The next day marks a slight decline in sightings due to heavy rains. It was a morning safari in Turia. We were roaming for 3 to 4 hours and we saw nothing except for some monkeys and uh, regular sighting. And then he came. This is a new male tiger which has just arrived in this area. He is a shy tiger and a curious one as he hasn't encountered the vehicles as much before. The way he shows his aggressions, it may send chills down the spine to anyone. It is our last day in Pinch and we head back to our hotel looking at the beautiful sunset. This forest is full of surprises. The way the creatures live in the infinity of each other is just amazing. Some become friends. Some become neighbors. There is a brotherhood. And well, some form of groups to live together. This harmony, this beauty is what makes us want to visit this place again. <laughs>